Hi guys, I'm Arnel, and today we're going to look at can, could, be able to. Can and could. These two words are like a giant umbrella because they cover so many different things. We have ability, possibility, permission, suggestions, requests, offers. So we're going to look at all of these. And I'll speak about be able to here and there. Before we get started with all of this, we need to look at two important things. Can and could are modal verbs. Can and could can be confusing because they often mean the same thing. The differences are between past and present, informal and formal, strong and weak. In English, we have can, could, may, might, must, would, will, should, and shall. Modal verbs are like a special verb club because they have their own rules. First, modal verbs are always followed by that bare infinitive. The bare infinitive is verb number one, without two. Give, gave, given. Give is my verb number one. I could dance all night. I could dancing. I could to dance. He could dances. Even if your subject is he, she, or it, we use that bare infinitive. He could dances. He could dance. Let's look at the negatives. As you can see, the full forms cannot, could not, are mainly used in writing. If you're speaking, just contract. Can't. Couldn't. And you can see cannot is written as one word and could not is written as two. Can. 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 These are the strong forms. You can hear these are very um, full, very clear. But normally when we're speaking naturally, it's, it sounds like we're completely removing that vowel sound. Can. I can do it. I can do it. You can do it. You can do it. We can do it. So in this lesson, you might hear me say can if I'm trying to be very clear, but you'll also hear me say can if I'm speaking um, quickly. Can't. 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 Could. Notice the L is silent. Could. Could. Couldn't. 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 Okay, let's move on to the uses. So, here on the side, you can see I have all the different uses for can and could. And I know it might look um, a bit small, but don't worry, this is just so we can organize the lesson. Let's begin with ability. Ability is our skills, our talents. Present. I can run 15 miles. I can't run 15 miles. Can you run 15 miles? Do you can run 15 miles? What's the past of can? Could. When I was a teenager, I could run 15 miles. I couldn't run 15 miles. Could you run 15 miles? Did you could run 15 miles? Okay, and I'm sure we've all had this experience on Skype or Zoom. Hi! Can you hear me? Can you see me? Yeah, I can hear you. I can see you. Everything is clear. Now I can't hear you. 
and now she's she's frozen again ability can and could are not only for people we can use them for things as well container ships can carry a lot of cargo container ships can't move on land old cell phones couldn't take pictures i mean they they couldn't really do anything and that looks like um, my first phone well actually this was my first phone it was great i never had any problems so we have present ability past ability what about be able to be able to gives us more flexibility and it means the same thing as can and could it has the same meaning let's take a look will you be able to fix this being able to speak two languages is useful i would like to be able to sing you can see here be able to gives me more options i can use be able to with will will you can fix this that doesn't work canning to speak two languages canning speak two languages that doesn't work i would like to can sing so normally we use can and could to speak about our abilities and the abilities of different things but you can see here be able to can give you more options grammatically we can't move on to possibility yet let's get a little bit more specific we know could is used for past abilities here is one of my earlier examples when i was a teenager i could run 15 miles no problem here i'm talking about ability in general things i could do in the past whenever i wanted to i could run 15 miles in the morning in the afternoon in my sleep ha <laughs> but if someone had the ability to do something one time in an affirmative sentence use a different expression a man was trapped under a car and a young boy was able to lift the car to free the man wow a young boy managed to lift the car good a young boy could lift the car not so natural let's compare again general past ability 15 years ago i could speak german i could speak german in the morning in the afternoon in my sleep one time past ability we all worked together and were able to finish the homework early yes managed we all worked together and managed to finish the homework early good and could finish the homework early not so natural possibility stronger possibility weaker possibility can could both of them refer to the present if we want to speak about the future we normally use could so in this case could is not about the past do you need me i can be at your house in 30 minutes strong possibility what is this supposed to be i don't know it it could be a painting of the ocean maybe you could see weaker possibility you're on the phone hello i'd like to cancel the tickets i have to the performance on the 5th okay i can give you a full refund or i can give you a gift card to use at a later date you can see here two possibilities i don't want to put any cream on my rash because it could get worse i'm not a doctor this is a maybe what's a rash 
A rash is a red mark you get on your skin because of some, some type of irritation. You don't want a rash. Nobody wants a rash. That ham sandwich can't be Elena's. She's a vegetarian. Impossible. Earlier in the lesson, I said, can and could can be confusing because they often mean the same thing. We often use can for strong possibilities because they are true in general and because of personal experience. Holidays, like Christmas, can be stressful. Okay, so you can see could is, is softer, it's a little weaker. That's why we use could for suggestions. We use could because we're suggesting something. We're not demanding something. I don't know what to do with all these old clothes. You could donate them. I hate sitting next to the AC. Oh, I get so cold. We could switch desks. I don't mind. Mini review. Can present ability, could past ability, be able to both, a little bit more flexible. Can stronger possibility, could weaker possibility, could suggestions. Now, I'm sure some of you are thinking, what about past possibilities? Sabrina could have gone home. Oh no, I could have deleted that email by mistake. Could have plus past participle. The past participle is verb number three. Could have go. Could have went. No. Could have gone. Gone is my past participle. Here I mean, maybe this happened in the past. You can see I'm not so sure. I'm 50% sure. You could have been killed. Never cross the street looking at your phone. I could have gone to the party, but I decided to stay home. Could have plus past participle. Here, I mean, this was a past possibility, but it did not happen. This person wasn't killed by a car, but it was a possibility. I didn't go to the party, but it was a possibility. So two meanings with could have and past participle. One, something that maybe happened in the past. Two, something that didn't happen, but was a possibility. And in the negative, hmm, I don't think that's true. I heard Lena call me fat. What? She couldn't have said that. Lena is the nicest person I know. Okay, if you want to know more about past modal verbs, I have a video which covers all of them. I'll put the link here, here. <laughs> Or is it here? I've never added a link to a video, so somewhere <laughs> around here there should be a link. Let's move on to permission. Permission, you're asking someone, is this okay? In terms of rules and laws. Child to mom. Can I have some chocolate? Yes, you can. No, you can't. Student to teacher. Can we use our phones in class? Yes, you can. No, you can't. Can, kind of like possibility, it's, um, it's stronger and it's more informal. So can is not rude, it's not impolite, it's just very casual. How do we make this a little bit more formal? Change it to could. Imagine you go to someone's house for the first time. Could I use your bathroom? Yes, you could. Yes, you could. When we give permission or refuse permission, we use can and can't. Could I use your bathroom? Yes, you can. No, you can't. Imagine you message your boss and you, and you write, could I leave work early on Wednesday? Yes, you can. No, you can't. Okay, normally when we refuse permission, we don't say, no, you can't. 
it's grammatically correct, but it's very direct. We would usually explain why something isn't allowed. Um, excuse me, can I, can I take this chair? Sorry, I need it. No, I'm afraid it's taken. We would be a little bit softer. We wouldn't really say, no, you can't. I can't play that game. This could mean ability. I can't play that game. It's in Spanish. I can't speak Spanish. This could mean possibility. I can't play that game. I need a password. I don't have a password. It's not possible. This could also mean permission. I can't play that game. My mom says I'm too young. I have to wait until I'm 13. So if you're reading something or if you're watching a movie and you hear can or could, don't just focus on that one sentence. Look at everything around it and this will really help you. Great, let's keep going. Let's move on to offers. And I think by this point, you might already know the rules. Can and could. Which one can I use for a stronger offer? Can. Which one for a kind of weaker, softer offer? Could, that's right. Can I help you? You look really busy. I wasn't at the meeting yesterday. Is there anything I need to know? Oh, I can send you the minutes. I think there are a few things you need to look at. Minutes. What are minutes? Of course you know one minute is 60 seconds. But minutes in a business sense are the notes someone writes during a meeting. You can see in this picture, the lady is taking minutes. Today, Janine is taking minutes. Whose turn is it to take minutes next week? Minutes are useful because, of course, they can be saved and emailed to everyone. Usually, only one person in a meeting takes minutes. A bit softer, a bit weaker. I could water your plants for you while you're on vacation. Great, last one, last one there, requests. Informal, formal. Hmm, can or could, which one do you think is informal? Can you close a window, please? Can you mail this letter for me? Could you possibly send me the link? Wow, there's been a lot of information in this lesson. So I'm going to end with a joke. Student. Excuse me, Mr. Wilson, can I go to the bathroom? I don't know. Can you? <laughs> okay. So this joke is very um, silly. It's very immature, isn't it? Let me explain it. And this can be used in any situation. Can I go to the bathroom? Can I ask you a question? Can I use your phone? The first person is using can in terms of permission. Can I go to the bathroom? The second person oh, is joking and is translating can into ability. As in, do you have the ability to go to the bathroom? So if you didn't like this joke, it's not my joke. But I hope you liked this video. I hope it was useful. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.